So the big news surrounding the Minnesota Wild is no doubt the acquisition of uh, former uh, three-time 30-goal scorer Matt Molson. And, uh, you know, last year, Minnesota was in need of more talent. Um, they just, Parisi and Suter were great, but they weren't, they weren't doing it, you know, as far as they, they couldn't do it themselves, you know. The youngsters weren't quite stepping up. Brodeen was great, but Zucker, Coyle, Granlund, they all had their, their moments of struggle. Um, Granlund in particular last year, um, but he has since stepped into his role as a world-class, as, as the world-class player he was touted to be. Um, but this year, it was about rewarding the team for their hard work and and their perseverance. And you don't want to disrupt locker room chemistry, but Tory Mitchell just did not like receiving fourth line minutes. When he signed with Minnesota on July first, twenty twelve, his idea was he was coming in as third line winger. Really. And he spent most of his time on the fourth line wing. You know? Right. Um, he wants to... It's not that he doesn't like the team. He just wants to revive his career somewhere. Sure. And trading him to Buffalo does that. Mm -hmm. You know, they're a team that's just mailing it in for the rest of the season. Yeah. But because of that, he's going to get more time. Right. You know, he's going to get more time out there. And th that will help him showcase, you know, his skills to, to you know, other teams that, that might take interest in him. Right. But um, the addition of Matt Molson is huge because that adds another sniper to a goal-starved uh, goal team. The Wild, ha they've always been known for their defense, you know, for their defense and their goaltending. And some say they're a boring trap-style team. Well, I've got the news for you. Jacques Lemaire is no longer the head coach, and he hasn't been for <laughs> the past several years. Um Todd Richards tried to bring in, you know, more of an offensive style, a two-way play. Um, really, Nicholas Backstrom has struggled since the Jacques Lemaire era. He has not been the same goaltender he was since then. And I think Kemper has, has stepped in and, and proven that he, that he can be a number one. And I think Minnesota's going to roll with him. The addition of Ilya Brzgalov is great. You know, that adds a safety net. But it gives Kemper room to just, you know, hey, it's it's your net to lose, mm -hmm. you know. But we've got a quality goaltender here that's ready to step in at, at a moment's notice as well. But Matt Molson provides another offensive presence um, where he'll be especially noticeable is on the power play. Right. Minnesota's um, leading power play goal scorer this year is Zach Parisi with 11 power play goals. The next closest, uh, I want to say, uh, Jason Pominville, Miko Koivu. I, don't quote me on that. I, I'm not looking at the stats right now. Mm -hmm. But the next closest person has five. Matt Molson comes in with eight on the season. Wow. Eight power play goals. Yep. Uh, you know, he's a guy that, that can really score anywhere from 20 feet out. Really. Mm -hmm. um, he's a guy that, that only adds to Minnesota's offensive firepower. And when you look at, at the team's potential top six, it's downright nasty. You have Zach Parisi, Mikhail Granlund, Jason Pominville as your top line. Yeah. Matt Molson, Miko Koivu, Charlie Coyle yep. on your second line. Yeah. Then you have a third line. And, and the, the interesting thing is they did not give up Danny Heatley. Right. You know? That is interesting. So yep. you still have Danny Heatley. Yeah. And he'll be anywhere between the, the, the third and fourth lines. And he's a guy that can even slot in on that second line, too, right. if, if, you know— if there's injuries or someone's game goes to crap, right. you know, um, you know, uh, you look at the third line, Matt Cook, Kyle Brodziak, um, either Heatley or Nino Niederreiter, mm -hmm. you know, and then the fourth line, um, I believe uh, Vayu was reassigned, I, um, so that would leave probably Cody McCormick, who was also acquired in the Matt Molson trade. Hard nose, gritty. You know, I'm going to stand up, and if if you mess with my team, I'm going to punch your face in. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's the kind of guy you need to have if you're going up against. You know, we we play the uh, St. Louis Blues three times here in the, in the last stretch yep. of the season. Mm -hmm. They're a team we just haven't beaten this year, and they're tough. They're gritty. You need guys like McCormick. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if Brad Winchester is recalled. 
you know, he, he was uh, traded or acquired uh, for uh, Brian Connolly. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I think he'll be recalled, provide some more grit. Uh, Stoner and Prosser are very gritty in the back end there. Keith Ballard knows how to lay a wicked hip check. <laughs> he sure does. Um, you know, Suter's big. He's He can be physical. He's mm-hmm. a top-tier shutdown defenseman. Brodeen's tracking that way and providing offense as well. Mm-hmm. Scandella and Spurgeon. Scandella is is nasty when he wants to be, mm-hmm. and he provides a, some great offensive and defensive play. Jared Spurgeon, boy, if he was if he was five inches taller, he he would have been a first round pick in the or well. The the guy is just so underrated. Yeah, five foot nine. Right. One of the best defensemen Minnesota has seen in a long time. Yeah, you bet. One of the best. I'm not saying the best, but one of the best. Quality young guy. Quality young defenseman. Um, but Matt Molson, I think, just really makes that team four lines deep. It makes it extremely hard for coaches, opposing coaches, to match up lines. It's like, okay, well, we got to shut down Paris. we we got to shut down Grandland, Pominville. Crap, Molson's on the second line. You know, mm-hmm. Coyle. And, and 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 those those are those are big guys. Molson six one, Koivu's like six anywhere from six two to to six four. I've seen conflicting reports. <laughs> Coyle is six two. Yeah. You know, uh, you know that first line's a little smaller. They're mm-hmm. they're all like a six foot or under, but that third line, you know, Cook's five eleven. He's scrappy. Brodziak's like six one. Um, you know, Niederreiter Heatley's six four. Niederreiter's six two. You know, you start adding those those bigger physical guys, oh, yeah. and it's such a tough team to play against. That's a team three, four lines deep, right? And that's it, they're not the Chicago Blackhawks. Right. Don't get me wrong, right? But a team that's four lines deep like that is hard to defend against, yeah. and that's that's what you need in order to not not just make the playoffs, but to get past the first round, to get past the second round, to get past the third round, to get into the Stanley Cup Finals, and ultimately be able to hoist. Lord Stanley's mug. We're going to take a short break. You're listening to The Power Play Hockey Talk Radio here on KCFS 94.5 FM. Don't go away. We've got a lot more coming up next. <laughs> 